Now, if I stand up and do a passive 60-minute lecture for students with no interaction, no, there's not any life skill development going on. That's why the active learning environment is so important in today's world. And if we're going to have a method of assessment, we have to have a quantitative standard to go with it. We cannot manage what we can't measure. We need a number. Faculty know exactly what their course success rate number is. So like in science, when the first thing they address is perceptions in the classroom, not instructional strategies, perception in the classroom, and they see test scores go up five, six, seven points, oh, they have buy-in now. They're like, man, I didn't realize just changing these few things had that big of a difference. And like our question, it's always the same. What am I doing about it? Anything at all is a starting point. What we don't want is nothing because a system will take something seemingly impossible and make it almost ridiculously easy. Taught chemistry for a long time. We'd go up to a student and have a problem in chemistry. When do you study your chemistry? They say, well, uh, never mind, you ain't got a system. Go on to the next person. When do you study chemistry? They say, well, it depends. Is it Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday? Go Monday, Wednesday, never mind. Not, well, I don't know what your system is, but you got one. And if it doesn't work, you can adjust it. We have to have a system for us to take what's seemingly impossible and make it ridiculously easy. My grandson turned 13 last year, getting into sports a little bit. I said, I tell you what, if you can do 10,000 push-ups by your next birthday, I'll give you $100 cash. I thought that was good. He looked at me like I lost my mind. $100 for 10,000 push-ups, that's impossible somebody do 10,000 push-ups. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. He's really good at math, really good. So I said, well, is it really impossible or are you just not mathematically literate enough to figure out how to make the impossible possible? I said, I'm going to ask you, no, can you do 10 push-ups? His exact words were, Anybody do 10 push -ups? I'll do 20 for you right now. I said, that's all I need. I need to know 10 is easy. He said, oh, yeah. So you could do 10 before you went to school in the morning and 10 when you got home, right? He said, I could do that. And right before you went to bed, just knock out 10 real quick before you jump into bed, right? That'd be 30 a day. There's 365 days in a year. And his eyes started doing that calculating thing. <laughs> he said, that's over 10,000 push-ups. <laughs> I said, thank you. Now, do you want to commit doing 10,000 push-ups for $100 or not? He said, I will. I said, good, because if you don't, you owe me $100. He said, whoa, whoa, you're changing the rules now. I said, no, 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 no. We're not changing the rules. We ask you, did you commit? We didn't ask you, do you promise? We didn't ask you, you're going to try it unless it gets too tough. We used the word commit. And commit means willing to do whatever it takes. So if you're willing to do whatever it takes, why do I even need to worry about you? Why do you need to worry about it? And I didn't throw in any extra, because I can talk for a long time. I, didn't, I left it at that. I went in his room a couple months later. I was totally impressed when I looked on his calendar. Because I told him, you've got to keep up with this stuff. I'm not going to believe you when you just show up a year later and said I did 10,000 push-ups. Every day, he had 30, 30, 30. It got to Friday, zero. Saturday, zero. I thought, oh, no, he's losing it. Looked over at Sunday, 60. Monday, 60. Tuesday, back to 30. You get the message, don't you? Sports, we call that. You don't have to have the lead if you've got the heart to come from behind. In life, we call that compensating. Yes, our students come to us with a lot of challenges. Yes, they come to us where they didn't have the kind of upbringing that would have prepared them for success in the workplace and higher education. So what? Are we willing to compensate or not? And the fact is, it's very easy to compensate. Just change the strategy. Convert to a more active learning environment, which is it's stressful at first because it's different. But the, on the other side, it is so rewarding. It is unbelievable. 